Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This is just going to be a video about how I feel that the modern prophetic movement has come uh, full circle and is starting to look like uh, what Jeremiah prophesied in Jeremiah chapter 23. In Jeremiah 23, uh, he said the prophets were prophesying peace, 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 when there was going to be no peace, but there was going to be judgment. The current prophetic movement are full of uh, prophesying new houses, new cars, new opportunities, new doors. Uh, I've seen three major prophetic voices uh, prophesy uh, about uh, the new Jewish year, and they've all uh, prophesied uh, that, that the Lord is opening new doors to people. Um, in Jeremiah 23, uh, the, the prophet uh, says that the Lord hasn't spoken, but the prophets run and steal each other's words from each other and repeat the same words. And this is exactly uh, what's going on. Uh, it's not the spirit of the Lord saying new doors are opening. It's prophets stealing um, prophetic words from one another. And uh, the, the prophets are prophesying prosperity and peace and open doors and new opportunities. And uh, that, that I, I get an overwhelming sense that uh, God is not happy and uh, Jesus is not happy with his church that is uh, full of sin, full of wrinkles, and uh, it's not unspotted from the world. It, uh, the, the whole church and even ministries uh, uh, run after the world. They run after clicks. They run out of views. They, they, they run to sell books. They, uh, it's just one big money-making experience. And... Uh, that even the ministries, even the ministries that the, the um, popular uh, speakers are in have become idols to them. You know, someone like uh, uh, Benny Hinn was publicly uh, rebuked by his nephew, Costi Hinn, in a book about the prosperity doctrine. And Benny Hinn uh, came forth uh, a couple of weeks after it exploded on Amazon and said that he's repenting of the prosperity doctrine and he's not going to preach it or use it anymore in his ministry. And three weeks later, he was back to promoting the prosperity gospel uh, on a Facebook Live. Uh, I asked uh, God about it because I'm a prophet and I can ask God about things. And he said that Benny Hinn's ministry had uh, become more popular than sinning and uh uh, his ministry had become an idol to him and he couldn't operate without the finances coming in. So he reverted back to his old trusted way of earning finances. Um, so uh, the ministries have become gods uh, to the people uh, and uh, uh, they're prophesying uh, false words. And uh, we've got a whole collection of prophets in the United States called the Trump Prophets that just prophesy politics and prophesy the fact that uh, they believe the world is getting better. Uh, there's whole streams of Christ Christian uh, who who are led by prophets who says that, uh, that uh, the people of God are going to take over the world and rule in the seven mountains, and it's totally unbiblical and it's totally against what Scripture says, prophetic Scriptures proven prophets from the Bible have said, and uh, the the prophetic uh, has uh, driven off a cliff, and uh, the average uh, person out there doesn't know that the prophets are prophesying lies and imaginations and their own dreams, and uh, it's, uh, it's just become a bit of a laughing stock. So we've returned to... Uh, the days of Jeremiah, the prophetic has returned to the days of Jeremiah. And uh, once again, I feel like a Jeremiah. I feel like 
Uh, I'm a purveyor. I, I'm a spreader of bad news. And uh, my uh, prophecies uh, don't get recognised and picked up and they don't uh, seem to go viral uh, because I uh, speak what I feel the Lord uh, puts on my heart to speak. And sometimes it's not uh, so encouraging uh, for the body of Christ. So if you listened uh, to this video and it was helpful, uh, please press like. I'd love to hear your comments. And if this is the first time you've seen my channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe. God bless.